In 15th century, Franciscan monk Luca Pacioli, a friend of Leonardo da Vinci and his math teacher, is credited with publishing a textbook in 1494 which listed an entity resources separate from any claim upon those resources. In summary, he produced a balance sheet with debits and credit separated. Objective Understand the definition of statement of financial position. Gain knowledge in the processing balance sheet. To understand a company financial situation at a specified moment. What is a balance sheet? Balance sheet is an organization's asset, liabilities, and shareholders. Equity are listed on the balance sheet at one particular time as indicated at the top of the statement. One of the key records that go into a company financial statement is this one. Ang balance sheet ay ang kabuuan nakita ng isang kumpanya. Dito din makikita ang simulang pumasok na pera at lumabas na pera ng isang kumpanya. Ang ibang pangtawag sa balance sheet ay SFP o Statement of Financial Position. First, I will read the transaction problem of Smith & Gel Inco. For the past several years, Jen Smith has operated a part-time business from his home. As of January 1, 2022, Jen decided to move to rented quarters and to operate the business, which was to be known as Smith & Gel Inco. On a full-time basis, Smith & Gel entered into the following transaction during January the transaction dated in January 2, the following assets were received from Jen Smith Cash, 100,000, account receivable, 11,500, supplies, 10,250, and office equipment, 17,500. There were no liabilities received. And the transaction dated in January 3, paid 3 months, rent on the lease, rental contract. For 14,500. Transaction dated in January 4 paid the premium on property and casualty insurance policies for the year of 10,800. The transaction dated in January 6 received cash from client as an advance payment for services to be provided, which is 13,000. The transaction dated in January 7 purchased additional office furniture on account from RG Company, which is 10,800. And the transaction dated in January 8 received cash from clients on account 12,800. The transaction dated in January 11 paid cash for newspaper advertisement, which is 11,120. And the transaction dated in January 12 paid RG Company 10800 for debt incurred on January 7. The transaction dated in January 15 recorded services provided on account for the period of January 4 to 15, which is 12250 And the second transaction in January 15 paid part time receptionist for two weeks salary 9400 and the third transaction in January 15 recorded cash on account from clients for fees earned of January 4 to 15, which is 13,175. And the transaction dated in January 18 
paid cash for supplies 1750 the transaction dated in January 22 recorded services provided on account for April 18 to 22 10,000 and 11,100 and the second transaction in January 22 received cash from clients for fees earned April 18 to 22 which is 100,850 and the transaction dated in January 24 received cash from clients on account 12,600 and the transaction in January 25 paid part-time receptionist for two weeks salary which is 11,400 and the transaction in January 26 paid telephone bills for April 3,130 and the transaction dated in January 27 paid electric bill for April 2,200 for the transaction of January 28 recorded cash from cash clients for fees earned April 25 to 29 which is 20,050 and the first transaction in January 29 recorded services provided on account for April 25 to 29 which is 11,800 and the second transaction in January 29 Jen received 24,500 from the company as his salary ang gagamitin natin transaction ay ang Smith and Gel Incorporate then these are the following account title that given in the problem cash account receivable supplies office equipment Jen Smith Capital, Rent Expense, Salaries Expense, Telephone Expense, Utilities Expense, Account Payable, Advertising Expense, Insurance Expense, and Service Revenue. And also, it includes the post reference of each account title, which it means ay isang code na nagaguide sa isang specific account sa ledger. Sa ganitong paraan, mapapadali nito mahanap ang mga accounts title. The accounts, a collection of financial records that employ double entry accounting are referred to informally as the accounts because of the way the bookkeeping entries are organized the account is known as the account just above the t the account title may be seen t account ang t account ay paghihiwalay ng mga entries sa kada transaction dito ay ginagamitan ng guhit na t kung saan sa ibabaw ng t ay accounts title at sa kanan ay ang debit at sa kaliwa ay credit. Journalize. A journalized transaction is one that includes the date, the account you're debiting or crediting from, and a brief description of the transaction that took place. Journalizing transactions is the process of keeping a record of all your business transactions. Monitoring them in chronological order. Ang journalized na transaction ay may date at mga account title na nakalagay sa debit at credit. Ito ay ang proseso ng pagtatala ng lahat ng record ng transaction sa negosyo. Minamonitor ayon sa pagkasunod-sunod. Unadjusted Trial Balance a list of all the general ledger account balances as of a particular date is included. In an unadjusted trial balance, this report is being made to make sure that each account's debits and credits are accurately balanced. Unadjusted trial balance ay ang pagcompute ng kabuang kita sa isang particular na pecha. Ang unadjusted balance ay kinagamit upang ang transaction ng debit at credit ay makalculate at maibalanse ng tama. Dito din malalaman kung mababalanse ang mga lumalabas at pumapasok na kita ang isang kompanya. Adjusted Trial Balance 
a list of the general ledger account balances after any adjustments have been made. These adjustments include those for prepaid and accrued expenses as well as non-cash costs such as depreciations. Adjusted trial balance Ang layunin nito ay upang matiyak na ang kabuang halaga ng balance sa debit sa pangkalahat ng ledger ay katumbas ng kabuang halaga ng balance ng kredito sa general ledger. How to make a balance sheet Making a balance sheet is actually a straightforward operation once you know what to do. Despite the fact that it could initially look scary, you can make it by purchasing account, software, or by using tools like Excel. You may create a fundamental balance sheet by following this step. Whether you're an accountant or a business owner. Step to make a balance sheet. Invest in accounting software. If you want a program that has built-in functionality to help you enter data and make calculation more efficiently. 2. Create a heading. The first step is to create a header for your documents. 3. Use the basic accounting. Equation to separate each section. Asset equal liabilities plus owner's equity. 4. Include all of your assets. You can first list your current assets, cash, marketable securities, or inventory. 5. Create sections for liabilities. Your liability sections list all of your current and current liabilities. 6. Create a section for owner's equity. Your owner's equity section includes your retained earnings. 7. Add total liabilities to total owner's equity. Once you have your total owner's equity, you can add it to your total liabilities. A balance sheet is calculated by balancing a company's assets with its liabilities and equity. Ang formula nito ay total asset equals total liabilities plus total equity. Isa sa mga halimbawa nito ay ang transaction ng Smith and Gel Incorporation na kung saan ang current asset nila ay may cash na mayroong total na 139,650 pesos. Accounts receivable na may total na 66,000 475 pesos supplies na may total na 12,000 pesos at prepaid insurance na may 10,800 pesos at sa kabuuan ang total ng current asset ay 228,925 pesos sa non-current asset naman ay ang office equipment na may total na 28,300 pesos Ang total asset na nakuha natin ay 257,225 pesos. Sa equity naman ay ang capital ni John Smith na 139,250 pesos. Sa current liabilities na may accounts payable na may total na 10,800 pesos. Para makuha ang balance sheet, ito ay equity plus liability at mag equal dapat ito sa asset. So, ang total liabilities dito ay 10,800 at ia-add sa equity na 246,425 pesos equal 257,225 at ang total asset naman ay 257,220 pesos. So, nag-balance sila. Para mas lalong maintindihan, lahat ng expenses ng Smith and Gel Incorporation ay iaad at makakakuha ito ng total na 97,850 at ililess ito 
or ima minus sa capital na 139,250 pesos equals to 41,400 pesos. Ang total nito naman ay inad naman sa service revenue na 194,225 na may total na 225 pesos 625 at inad naman ito sa prepaid insurance na 10,800. Take note na ang insurance expense ay magiging prepaid insurance na kasi napaid na ito o nabayaran na makakakuha ng total na 246,425 at ia-add ang accounts payable na may halagang 10,800 at makakakuha tayo ng total na 257,225 which is na balance na a balance Always remember that the balance sheet of a business is a record of its assets and liabilities as at a particular point in time. When assessing a business or an investment opportunity, fundamental analysis pay close attention to the balance sheet. Analysis of balance sheet is crucial for mergers, asset sales, future investment in the business, and determining whether a company is solid enough to grow or pay off. Cash, account receivable, short-term investment, property, plant, and equipment, together with other significant liabilities, are considered by many experts to be most crucial components of a balance sheet. To ensure the balance sheet is balanced, it will be necessary to compare total assets against total liabilities plus equity. To sum up a balance sheet is a snapshot of a corporation at a certain point in time. Three items make up the balance sheet, assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Mm-hmm.